everybody, this is Teacher Chelsea with the Walla Walla YMCA Child Development Team. This weekend on Sunday is Mother's Day, so I thought I would share with you one of my favorite breakfasts that I love, which is a French toast baked casserole, and maybe you can make it on Sunday morning for your mom for breakfast. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I need to do is grease my pan for the casserole. So I'm gonna get some butter. Using my fingers, I'm just gonna kind of all spread it in there and grease my pan up. I really wanna get it nice and buttered up so that it doesn't stick to the pan and it comes out easily. You can hear my dog in the background. She's watching me cook right now. She might come over and say hi. I don't know. Okay. All right, that's nice and greased. Let me rinse off my pan. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I took a loaf of French bread and I chopped it up into pieces. Let me grab that. So this was just one loaf of French bread and I chopped it up into kind of bite-sized pieces. Some are a little bit bigger, but they're all about the same size. You can actually, if you want, just tear the loaf apart into pieces or you can cut it however you want to. But if you're using a knife, make sure that you always have an adult helping you. It might be easier for you guys to tear it up into pieces. So then I'm gonna put all of my bread in my pan. out a little bit so I don't have big piles in one spot. There we go, that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna set this out of the way just a little bit and I'm gonna start mixing the other ingredients and pour over it. So I'm following my recipe here. Whoops, where'd it go? First thing I'm gonna do is crack eight eggs into my bowl. Four, five, six, whoops, seven, and eight. Okay, I'm gonna give my fingers a quick rinse. Next, I pour in two cups of milk. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of heavy cream. Now I'm gonna put in 3 fourths cup of sugar. And two tablespoons of vanilla. All right, now with my whisk, I'm just gonna give that a good stir and mix it all together. So this French toast casserole you mix all of this together and then I'm gonna pour this over my bread and it actually has to sit in the fridge for a while so that it can all soak into the bread and make it kind of, I don't know, just really yummy. So if this is something that you are gonna make for your mom for Sunday morning breakfast or brunch or whatever you wanna do, 
you have to do it the day before so that it can sit in the fridge for probably at least eight hours or overnight before you bake it. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really easy and really yummy. All right, I think I have it all mixed together there. Just make sure all my egg yolks are broken up. This would be fun for you to help stir. Whoops, I almost, oh, I did splash off. Okay, so now when that's all mixed together, super easy, I just pour it over my breadcrumbs, or not my bread, my bread pieces. Make sure it's poured all over it. Make sure it's nice and even in there. Now I'm gonna just grab my lid for my pan. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge for probably about eight hours. Usually when I make this for breakfast, I do it at nighttime and then I put it in the fridge overnight and then it's ready in the morning for me to pull out. There's a topping that I'm gonna to add to this before I put it in the oven, but I'll show you that before we bake it in a little bit. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna get working on my French toast casserole again. The French toast has been soaking in my fridge with the mixture that we made earlier that we poured on top of all the bread. And now I'm gonna start working on that topping that I talked about. So for the topping, it's a fourth cup, or no, half a cup of flour, half a cup of brown sugar, put in some cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg and some salt. and then just one stick of cold butter that I chopped up or sliced up, whatever you wanna say. All right, so I put that in my bowl and then with my pastry cutter here, I'm gonna mix that all together. I lost my cameraman. Johnny was filming for me earlier, but he went out to go play with his dad and brother. So I get to do all of this on my own right now and film myself, which is kind of funny. Interesting, but it works. So I'm gonna blend all of this together. This pastry cutter, let me show you. It's kind of a fun tool. Some of you might have these at home. It kind of cuts, I don't know if you can really see it. Kind of cuts everything together and mixes it, which comes in really handy when you're baking. Sorry, I'll try to stay on camera. And it cuts that butter up into small pieces and mixes it with the flour and sugar. And it makes a nice crumb topping that I'll sprinkle all over the French toast so that it's really yummy when we bake it. It gets kind of stuck in there so I have to kind of pull it out. And if you don't have a pastry cutter, that's okay. You can use some forks to kind of break things up in there or just mix it together with your fingers. Do your best with it. Do your best to improvise. Sometimes we have to improvise in life, which means to adjust our plans a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so now I've got this crumb mixture. Let's put that in my sink and get it out of the way. Let me show you the crumb mixture. We'll just sprinkle that on top of the French toast. Pull that French toast out of the fridge. Okay, so remember earlier we mixed together the eggs and the milk and cream and sugar and then poured that over my French bread that I had cut into chunks. So now I'm just going to take this crumb mixture here and sprinkle it all over the top. 
really easy. Might get a little messy and that's okay. Sometimes it's messy when you cook. Just make sure the best thing if you're messy is to always help to clean up. It's not very nice if you make a mess and then have someone else clean up. So you do help be responsible and help clean up after yourself. That's always really appreciated from moms and dads. Okay, so now we have the crumb mixture on top. Now all I have to do is stick that in the oven for a little bit and I will show you what it looks like when it's baked. We'll be back. Okay, my timer's going off, which means the French toast casserole should be ready, so I'm gonna go check it and pull it out of the oven. Ooh. It smells great and it looks delicious. Let me show you guys. Look at all of that. Nice and bubbly. Can you hear it sizzling kind of? And it does smell really, really good. So it's ready to go now. I'm gonna serve some up and then pour some syrup on top and enjoy it. Remember, if you feel like making something a little special for your mom on Mother's Day, this might be a great idea. I'm sure she would love it. Be sure to ask dad or someone else to help you and good luck and enjoy. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Bye.